you guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is Maritza and on today's video as you guys can tell by the title we're gonna try out a bunch of new makeup which I'm wearing right now let's jump right into it because I have quite a few products that I want to show with you guys my brows are low-key done but I usually go in with like a brow pen and I do have this NYX brow pen which I'm really excited. It's called the Lift and Snatch. So I have the shade Ash Brown. Uh, so this is the pen right here. I usually shade in spots where I want like a darker like look, you know, or like where I have gaps for my natural hairs are not growing. Okay, looking good already. Yeah, I need to fix it up, but that looks looking so much better. Oh my God. And the ink didn't come out like super fast. You know what I mean? From the tip. Okay, I'm low key impressed on this brow pen. Look at my brows, they look great. They look amazing. Moving on, we're gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow. I did already tried this palette once when I got it because let me just show you guys how beautiful it looks. Holy cow, I couldn't not pick it up the first day that it arrived at my house. Look how beautiful. This is the Ellis palette by Blend Bun Cosmetics in collab with Ellis and it's just such a beautiful palette. And I was looking for a colorful palette. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna pick her up. So I already know I like this palette, but I figured I would try it out on this video with you guys because it is my most recent palette. And honestly, I feel like it takes a lot for me to like actually purchase a palette now. I feel like I do have quite a few options here and there. I'm gonna create something really simple. So the first color that I'm gonna take is this color right here, which is shade Muse, I believe. Yes, Muse. And I'm just gonna put it in my outer corner. And if you haven't tried Blum Bunny Cosmetics, girl, what is you doing? Very, very nice small brand. And I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just blend out my outer corner. But honestly, I've never had any problems with my Blum Bunny Cosmetics palettes. This is my third palette that I own from them, I believe. Never had a problem with them. But let me go ahead and finish it and I'll be right back. Okay, I did a super duper simple look. Literally used three shades. Like I said, I love Glam Bunny Cosmetics, so it should go for me. Moving on to the face. I am gonna go ahead and try out the whole good stuff from Essence, which is a skin refining primer. So let's go ahead and try it out. It does say it's moisturizing with C kelp. Ooh, I thought it was gonna be more liquidy. Pretty thick, actually. It almost feels like lotion. A nice, fresh smell. I'm gonna go ahead and let that set for a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump right into my foundation. It's the Infallible from L'Oreal. I remember I used to really, 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 really love this foundation and for whatever reason, I just stopped using it. So I was just like, you know what? Oh, let me try it out. No, I think it's too white. Anyways, I could always return and exchange. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my sponge. Is it my shade? I don't know yet. Actually, it's looking good. Look at that coverage. It like automatically covered my redness. Why did I stop using this foundation? Cause it looks like good, you know? Like, okay, I guess it is my color. It just looked really white when I pumped it out. Oh, I do like the smell. It's like, I don't know, like fresh smell. And it doesn't feel heavy at all. I'm so glad I picked it up again. I do have to say, I did forget it's more of like a medium coverage foundation. Oh, and it does say it has SPF. I didn't know it had SPF in it, which is plus. It's a plus, but it's looking really good. Now that I have it blended out and stuff like that, I do feel like it's more of my color. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer. 
This is not a new product, but this is a new shade of a concealer that I already have. And it's the Flawless Shade Concealer from Beauty Creations. I really wanted a brighter color for my under eyes just because I started using like a, like a um, more darker and then like lighter color towards the outer. But looking at it, it's not that much bright. I got the same shade that I already have. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a concealer that I haven't really picked up that often. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Rem Beauty Concealer. As you remember, I really, really, really enjoyed it, but I didn't pick, I don't pick it up as often as I should. And if you haven't seen it, it is in a little pot and it is obviously thicker consistency. So let me just go ahead and apply. I'm definitely gonna need a brighter shade because this is like almost, literally, almost, almost the same color as my foundation. Even under my eyes, I already feel it pretty thick. And I think this is why I don't pick it up as often because I like something lightweight but like full coverage. Is that contradicting myself? I don't know. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. one. Yeah, see, I just need something brighter. And I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. I actually don't have any bronzer, so I'm just gonna do that step off camera really quick. Before I blend everything out, I'm actually gonna try out this e.l.f. What is it? Dewy Coconut Setting Mist, long lasting. I really, really enjoy e.l.f setting sprays in general so i was just like hey let me try this out the mist is a little harsh but i can definitely smell the coconut which i don't mind at all and i don't really pick up that concealer that much the rem one like i said just because it's more on the thicker side than like what i like but it looks okay like it doesn't look crazy bad and it's okay it's just not my cup of tea okay now that i have my concealer on and my bronzer i'm into white and you guys sorry i always say this in my videos but sorry for the dogs they're my neighbor's dogs and they're barking outside what can you do and i'm gonna go ahead and move on to blush i actually do have two different types of blush and it's from nude sticks this is my first ever product from nude sticks but i'm so excited i got the shade um picante matte and it's for the face or lips or juicy melons which oh that one says it's for face lip or eyes i'm really intrigued on picante i think una has a brush but if you haven't seen these products this is what the packaging looks like it does have a brush on the other end look at that color that's like holy cow holy moly so i don't know if i'm gonna try that shade even though i really really want to want to but this other one, Juicy Melons. How cute, I think I'm gonna try this one, so. Okay, I'm just gonna pick it up from here. This is the shade. It smells plasticky. <laughs> this is such a cute color, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so glad I chose this color, it's so cute. Very nice and buttery. She's blending out super nice. How, oh my God, so, so pretty. Yes, I have a gazillion other pink blushes, but nobody can stop me. And I didn't even know this, but this is so cute. Like the little packaging thing here, it comes with a freaking mirror. Hello. So you can like always store something in here. And if you need a mirror, then you can take it out. That's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the eyes and like finish it off. I did end up picking up a makeup by Mario. Let me see what it's called. Master Pigment Pro Pencil. So in soft brown. Oh, I didn't know this. It comes, it's dual ended. Let me put my tweezers down. It is dual ended, so like on the side and then like, 
one side it's the liner and then the brush very very cool mario you literally think of everything so i'm gonna put that in my waterline oh it's like like a really light brown i was expecting duh this is a soft brown i don't know what i was expecting a darker shade i don't know why but it's not giving off soft brown see like on my hand it looks really brown but then in my waterline it looks more of a like a a brick red okay i put a little bit on the outer and i'm just gonna blend it oh she's smooth blend okay maybe on my skin it looks better like the, the brown looks better um but in my waterline it just looks like a brick red almost no, I'm gonna put some up here just to kind of balance it out a little bit and smudge it. Very nice and pigmented. Like I said, not the color that I was expecting on my waterline, but it's fine if it works on my other parts of my eyes, then why not? Moving on to the mascara. I did end up picking up this Maybelline blush and it's called the falsy surreal honestly oh and it's brownish black see there's just i've been really into like brownish products for my eyes so let's feel super cheapy but it's fine i mean okay it's the product inside right and it's not what i was thinking okay it worked well for my bottom lashes but not for my top lashes. Like, it ain't it. It ain't it for my top. Moving on. Moving on. Because Jesus. I picked up some lashes from Z Dollar Tree. Which is some Ayani lashes. I picked up these half fling lashes. In the shade. It just says Baby Fox Curls Half Lashes. Let me show you guys. Um, And I was just intrigued. Because I really don't put on half lashes you know so let's try them on i had also picked up these like wispy natural short lashes as well from ayani but i'm not i don't want to try those right now i really want to try the half lashes because they look a little thick like you know they're just so tiny oh okay i haven't put them on like officially but i kind of dig Okay, first lash officially down and glued. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little difficult to put like, or to stick my inner corner because the lash band is really thick. Like, like, look at that. It's really thick and I personally do not like thick bands at all. Um, but the lash looks cute. The band is so thick, I feel like you can really tell where it ends and where it starts. I think I'm gonna end up putting liner, which is a good thing because I did want to try out this new liner that I had picked up. But still, like, what if I didn't want to use a liner? What if I don't have liner? You know what I'm saying? Like, anyways, let me try that pot liner. I'm not a huge fan of pot liners, to be honest. This is what she looks like. I love a new product. Okay, I'm taking an angle brush. And I'm hoping it's going. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't even put it in that deep. So buttery. And I'm just trying to do a thin, thin, thin line. So, like, it like goes and blends in with my band. But you see that right there? It just bugged up. I just messed up. So now we're gonna have to even it out. I'm digging the half lash more with the eyeliner. Let me know if you have any tips on uh, half lashes because you can probably put them wrong or probably did put them on wrong. Anyways, uh, I'm actually really surprised. This is super, super nice and easy, easy to, to glide on. Not to use because obviously I need more practice. But hey, the lashes look so much better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's move on to the lips. I just, I'm gonna 
no comment on this one because I already own a few of Makeup Amaro's lip liners and did I buy another one? Indeed I did. I ended up buying this shade called Angela and it is a like brownish shade. Let me see. Okay, it's but oh, it's more of a pinky shade. Funny. Okay, you know what? Let's try her on. I already know I love makeup by Mario lip liners, so I didn't know it's gonna be a win. I don't know. I already know. I did end up picking up one of his glosses too which is Pro Volume Lip Gloss, and it's this one right here. So let's pair them off together, why not? I'm sh surprised, shocked at myself, because I normally don't go for these pinky lip liner shades. It's almost like a watermelon-y shade. Oh yeah, she break for my taste. Yeah, this is so out of my comfort because what do you guys think? This looks so weird to me. Well, let me put on the gloss. I hope it makes it look better. This gloss is so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my god. The gloss made it better because together they like, look really nice. Okay, final steps. I did also pick up a Glam Bunny Celestial Cheek Alaze. You guys, when you guys see the shade, you all are gonna be like, loved. Hypnotized, look at this. This is supposed to be a cheek topper, but what I'm gonna do is actually, I was gonna be like putting it in my inner corner, but maybe now looking at it, maybe I might wanna use it as a cheek topper. No, right? No, look, no, 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 let's just, let me put it in my inner corner. She's very, very, very light. Like you guys can't even see it. But I can see, oh, I can see it. Oh my God, I'm actually living for this. This is so pretty. Anything pink and glittery, I love automatically. Somebody take this away from me. Like I feel like the camera's not picking it up, but in person I can see the pink and how glittery it's looking. <sighs> I'm crazy. I'm I'm gonna go in and add a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Somebody please come and take this away from me. This is so pretty. It's so cute. And I put it away though. Cause oh my god. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I did pick up uh, this MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. And I already know for a fact this is gonna be way too light for me because I picked up the shade NW15 and... But this is strictly for my under eyes, so don't come at me in the comments because it's literally just for my under eyes, okay? Just helps brighten up the under eye. And it blurred my pores right there, which is a plus. You guys, love. Let me go ahead and put in a little bit more setting spray. Let that dry. Honestly, living. You guys, this is the final look. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this lip liner? Like, I'm living for it with the gloss. I don't know if I'll pick it up without like a similar shade of that gloss because I just feel like the pinky undertone of that gloss helps that lip liner. And I just feel so weird because I typically do not go towards these type of shades. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Anyways, I really, really like how everything turned out. Super, super nice. Um, let's just go ahead and do a speed rate through all of them. So first things first is the pen. Honestly, I love this. I'm definitely gonna keep repurchasing this once I run out. Look at my brows. They look really good. 
they're nice i normally use the milk cosmetics one and i love it so much but this honestly 10 out of 10 for me like i really 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 liked it the next product this palette if it's still available i don't know if it's still available but if it's still available get your hands on it you guys can create so many looks with this palette it's insane and honestly you can use any of these shades for like blushes and stuff like that pick it up girl if you're looking for a colorful eyeshadow palette pick it up you won't regret yourself you won't regret it you won't regret it the lashes um oh sorry i forgot to mention 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 the lashes i typically don't use a half lash and i i do like it but the band is killing me like now obviously i fixed it up with the liner or whatever i'm gonna give it a two out of no that's so low i'll give it a five out of ten because of the band it just i don't want to work that hard for a lash um but yeah i'll give it a, a five out of ten for these half lashes with the elf liner i'm going i'm going to say nine out of ten only because i still need to practice on using pop liners but it worked really well and it was really smooth and i picked it up really fast like i had hardly dipped it and it was like super smooth or whatever so i'm gonna say nine out of ten the mascara if i could only use mascara at the bottom and not at the top like it just defeats its purpose like it will make me want to travel with it less or use it less when i go out and about and take my makeup because then i'm like well then i'll have to take two because this is only for my bottom or it only looks good on my bottom lashes you know what i mean first impressions because it says it's the falsies so i was thinking a little bit more volumized and a little bit more thicker or whatever and it's just not giving that. I feel bad because, you know, this is my first impression. But this is going to be like a 3 out of 10 for me. Like, it, it's okay. It's okay. I have other mascaras that obviously I like for my bottom and my top lashes. And this I feel like I would only use for my bottom lashes. Because it made it, them look good, you know? I'm going to stick with that. 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10. Which is really bad. Next product, the primer. And I think I'll have to try this one out way more. Well, obviously, all these products a little bit way more. I don't see, like, that my, my face is, like, super hydrating. Like, it was okay. It's, like, basic, you know? So, I don't know. 7 out of 10. It's, like, man, whatever. It's, like, basic. So, 7 out of 10. Foundation. Loved. Loved, loved, loved. The only thing is that I did forget it was not full coverage, obviously. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but the plus side is that it says that it has vitamin C and SPF 25, which is plus. Like, who doesn't want to have SPF on their foundations? So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 because it blended out really good. Looks good on me right now. 8 out of 10. Next product is this Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I don't feel like my makeup is that dewy, but it's also, like, not matte either. You know, it's, like, semi not dewy it's just not dewy it's not dewy it's not dewy but it's not matte either i do like the smell though i do like the smell um first impressions oh my god i have something in my hair first impressions this is basic i guess i'm being honest here so i'm gonna say seven out of ten why because i like the smell and it's setting spray i mean you know um it really does take a lot to wow factor me you know so 7 out of 10 is like basic is alright so whatever and next we're gonna go ahead and talk about the blush which was the juicy melon honestly it shocked me because I was really looking forward to the picante one but it was just like out of my comfort zone for this makeup look even though I do feel like we could have we could have worked it out with this lip liner look um, and the pink inner corner. I think we could have pulled it off, but first impressions 10 out of 10. Super, super pretty color. Like I said, this is Juicy Melon. Super cute. And then the what's it called? Chica Lace. I love anything pink. So 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for this baby boy right here. And the Makeup by Mario products, the gloss, the lip liner. I don't know how I feel about the, 
lip liner still so please let me know give me your honest thoughts in the comments like what do we think of this color i just feel like i look weird like i can't really pull it off you know but something different is always good right please confirm in the comments below um but anyways i love makeup by mario so anything is gonna be 10 out of 10 the only one is gonna be 9 out of 10 for the soft brown because it was giving me more of a brick type of red in my inner or my waterline and i'm looking for like a real brown like i have this right here like something not like super dark brown but like light brown you know like i just need that like light brown um so if you have any recommendations let me know i'm always open for rex obviously and this mac studio i thought i thought i was gonna be a little too white or this was gonna be a little too white for me but honestly, it looks good. I like that really bright under eye look, like how it ended up looking. So I'm going to say 10 out of 10, and it blurred my pores. Like, what? Of course we want that. Of course we want that. And out of everything, I would say the thing you need the most, if you're the type of girl like me that colors in there or like shades in their brows, you guys, where did it go? I would say you guys need this brow pen. So if you're looking for something new for your brows, girl, get it. And it was super, super inexpensive. I think like out of everything, I would, that's the one thing that I would recommend out of this whole video. Out of this whole video, I would say is a pen. I'm shocked too. I'm shocked too because I just, I don't know. I don't know, I, I thought I was gonna recommend the blush, honestly, because the colors are so beautiful, but it's the pen for me. It's the pen for me. And then the item that I think you can skip out on are probably the lashes and the primer. If you guys do your, like, your skincare routine really well, like, you're not gonna need a primer per se, per se you know? A lot of people don't use primers. Um, so yeah, you can definitely skip on this primer and the lashes only because I hate thick bands. Um, but if you don't mind and you want to give it a try, then be my guest, girl. Be my guest. But let me know what was your favorite product that I tried. If you have any recommendations of any brown liner for your waterline, let your girl know please but uh, thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys are not subscribed make sure you guys subscribe and uh, like that like button of course and if you want following me on my other social media accounts make sure you guys check me out there i know i've been slacking here but i'm more active on like my instagram and my tiktok low key but make sure you guys go follow me let's become friends and let's just keep up with each other and i will see you guys next time bye